This is the order for Compline on Monday, September 6, 2021, beginning on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. Let's take a moment to quiet our minds and our hearts. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in the newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Turning to page 782, we'll read Psalm 127 together. Unless the Lord builds the house, their labor is in vain who build it. Unless the Lord watches over the city, in vain the watchman keeps his vigil. It is in vain that you rise so early and go to bed so late. Vain too to eat the bread of toil, for he gives to his beloved sheep. <clears throat> Children are a heritage from the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is a gift. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. He shall not be put to shame when he contends with his enemies in the gate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come to me, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. In the page, middle of page 132. <clears throat> Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Say, let's pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all the snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. And now if everybody would unmute and we can offer up prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. Healing for Pam, for Larry, for Doc, Doris, for Kathy, Doris, for Kathy. Thank you, thank you.
and celebrate the life of Scott. Send warm hugs to his mama, his family. Amen. Yeah. And for Lisa and the twins who are going to be induced in the morning. For Pam, for continued healing. Amen. Taking Beth and their family. Prayer front line workers. Allison and Bethany. Yes. Okay. I ask your prayers this week for those who survive 9-11, who are reliving so many of their memories as the world um, remembers 20 years ago. Amen. Our church family and our church staff and for the conference center. Lord, we lift up all of these prayers in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. <clears throat> glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dear Lord, Give us joy in our work and in using gifts and talents we receive from you. Give us joy in doing all our work to your honor and glory. Equip us to labor in ways that promotes, promote justice and peace. Equip us to be ministers of your peace in a world that cries for that peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen.